G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Today we're going to do some tiny science with the chemical calcium carbide. I'm gonna put a chunk of calcium carbide in this tiny little beaker and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water and let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh! Can you see the gas? Can you see the gas produced? That gas is acetylene gas and it's very flammable. Check this out. Woo! Look at that. Acetylene gas is burning and that acetylene gas is very important for making plastics. Calcium carbide used to be a really important chemical. You could make it by adding calcium carbonate or limestone and coal in a very hot furnace and you heated it up together and you form this compound calcium carbide CAC2 it was so important because of the gas that was produced when you put water with it okay this time I'm going to put a piece into this conical flask there we go I'll put a chunk of the calcium carbide into there oh it's already starting to fizz there must have been some water in it put some more water in it like so put this Stopper on it. And let's light the top. Woo! Ooh. Look at that! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that beautiful flame. With a bit of oxygen, that flame could be used in a miner's helmet and it can be used down in a coal mine. I'm gonna put a bigger chunk in this time. Chunk. Chunk. Chunk more water because this time we're going to put a balloon on it here we go are we ready get the water in and let's see if we can use this gas oh whoa look at that look at that look at that balloon I'm gonna put my safety glasses on oh are we ready oh are we ready set <laughs> How good was that? Very incomplete combustion though. Did you see all the black soot that came out? In fact, I've got a bit of black soot on my hand. So now I've got two conical flasks with some glass tubes and stoppers and some rubber hoses. And I'm going to produce acetylene gas in one and oxygen gas in the other. Put the two gases together and then light them. So first, let's put in some soap. Whoop. Let's put some soap in there like that to form the bubbles. And then in this one, let's put some hydrogen peroxide which will produce oxygen when it decomposes. And then in this one, let's put some water. Come on. One, two, three. And get that gas. I'm making acetylene on this side. So hopefully we should get some bubbles, bubbles of acetylene. And then on this side, get some oxygen gas whoa so we've got some oxygen gas look at that oxygen and acetylene and then I'm gonna light the two are we ready set whoa <laughs> how good's that ready set whoa that is explosive isn't it wow that is amazing! <laughs> Make sure you've got your safety goggles on. Oh, wow. Whew. Oxygen and acetylene gas. Very explosive. So in Holland, one day of the year, they're allowed to get all their like metal um, milk containers and all sorts of other metal tubes and pipes and that sort of thing. And they, they like have these canisters that they put in their calcium carbide and then they 
put in their bit of water and then they light the hole and it's like boom, boom, boom everywhere. Maybe you've seen it, uh, it's awesome, you should check it out. Uh, the Holland Calcium Carbide Festival, I think it's called. So I think I've got a little, uh, yeah. Um, and so I've got a little pan here and it's got a little tiny hole. And so I'm gonna put the pan there and I'm gonna put my calcium carbide in, but I need a little bit of oxygen for this. So I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of manganese dioxide in there like so. And then I'm going to put my tiny, tiny little piece of calcium carbide on there like that. I'm going to put just a bit of hydrogen peroxide and that will make the oxygen and the water and the bubbles and that sort of thing. And then I'll light it. Bubbles, get out me, light out thing, and let's see what happens. Oh, wow! Whoa, sugar! Oh, wow! How about we do a rocket launch, eh? <laughs> with Mr. Skeleton. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? We'll do a rocket launch with Mr. Skeleton. Water in it. Like this. And I'm going to stick that there. Chunk of soil in it. A chunk of calcium carbide in. out a little bit quicker than what I thought. Okay, for this demonstration, I've got some water in this conical flask. I'm going to put some universal indicator in. Perfect. And then I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid in. Should go red. Excellent. And then I'm going to put in the calcium carbide. Now the calcium carbide will react with the water and it will form a hydroxide. And yes, I can see the purple up there. Can you see the purple up the top? And I can see it going slightly orangey and boom! There we go. It's gone basic. How good's that? <laughs> okay, for my final demonstration, I'm going to try a demonstration called Underwater Fireworks. That's right, Underwater Fireworks. Now I've got some bleach in here and I'm going to pour in some hydrochloric acid to make chlorine gas which I'm going to bubble through that water but in that water will be some calcium carbide making acetylene gas and the acetylene gas and the chlorine gas will combine hopefully making like little flames and that sort of thing so here goes in goes the acid whoa here comes the Chlorine, probably more than what I wanted. So let's pop that down there like that. I'm gonna pop in the calcium carbide. Down it goes. Whoa! 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 Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Whoa! Come on! Set. Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. Fireworks. Look at that. That's 
Tiny Science, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like, big thumbs up, and uh, turn your notifications on for when I upload the next Tiny Science video. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you all later. Bye for now. Woohoo!